This is a demonstration of how to disassemble and assemble a Texel MTA series PFA line sealless magnetic drive pump. This video is not meant to take the place of the Texel operation and maintenance manual. Removal and installation of some of the parts, such as the bushings and thrust rings, may require other procedures and tools. In this event, please refer to the Texel operation and maintenance manual for detailed information. All actual maintenance or service of these pumps should be performed according to the detailed instructions found only in the O&M manual. Texel MTA pumps lend themselves well to routine maintenance and basic repairs. Slip fit construction, standard tools, and fewer parts with no necessary adjustments make Texel MTA pumps both quick and extremely easy to disassemble, repair, and reassemble. These attributes set Texel MTA pumps apart from the competition in the line CLS magnetic drive arena. Prior to servicing the pump, be sure to remove all process fluids from the pump and ensure the pump is free of any hazardous materials. Many fluids will require special procedures. Please consult your company procedures. To detach the casing, use a 19 mm end wrench to loosen and remove six casing bolts and separate the casing from the pump assembly. Leave the two jack bolts in the tapped holes on the frame adapter. The jack bolts assist in the removal of the casing from the frame adapter. Tighten these bolts to separate the casing from the frame adapter and remove the casing. Remember that strong forces couple the inner and outer magnet and extreme caution should be used to avoid trapping your fingers between the casing and frame adapter. After removing the casing, place it on its end flange with the rear casing facing up. Use an 8mm Allen wrench to detach the four rear casing cap screws and remove the rear casing. Slide the impeller inner magnet assembly up and off of the shaft. Remove the gasket from the casing cover mating surface. Removal of the frame adapter from the motor assembly is accomplished using a 19mm end wrench to remove the four bolts that connect the frame adapter to the motor adapter. Now the motor adapter is left attached by four bolts. Note that the outer magnet keys directly to the shaft and is fully supported by the motor itself. Disassembly of the Texel MTA pump is clearly fast and simple, allowing for trouble-free maintenance and quick serviceability. When you are ready to reassemble the MTA pump, begin with the motor and outer magnet combination sitting on the motor fan cover with the outer magnet at the top. Attach the frame adapter to the motor adapter with four bolts and an end wrench. Begin the wet end assembly of the pump with the casing sitting on its end flange with the shaft pointing upwards. Slide impeller inner magnet assembly on shaft gently with the large end that comprises the impeller on first so that the impeller inner magnet assembly rests on the impeller. Next install the gasket in the casing on the mating surface. Then install the rear casing and attach the four rear casing cap screws. Tighten these down by hand only. Do not use a wrench. When combining the casing and frame adapter, remember that strong forces couple the inner and outer magnet and extreme caution should be used to avoid trapping your fingers between the casing and frame adapter. Position the jack bolts on the frame adapter so that they will interfere with the full seating of the casing and the frame adapter. While holding the casing assembly in place sitting on the jack bolts, back out the jack bolts evenly to lower the casing assembly down on the frame adapter. Install and tighten the six casing bolts using a 19 mm end wrench. As you have seen, Texel MTA pumps require no special training or difficult procedures to perform routine maintenance and make basic repairs. We believe that the benefits of the Texel MTA series pumps will be clear to every service-minded consumer.